I've always seen drugs as something that should not be dealt with in the criminal justice system. Prohibition and criminalisation is not a way to deal with drugs. I've been recruited by the Global Commission, which knew of my work in support of this kind of approach at UNDP, uh, to come on board and help advocate for evidence-informed drug policy. And we have so many examples around the world now of countries which are going down a legalisation and regulation path, which New Zealand could learn from. It's really shameful that we are now so far behind, whether it's on safe consumption spaces, whether it's on drug testing, whether it's on cannabis law reform, whether it's on therapeutic cannabis, we are behind. Now, Kiwis, we need pragmatic solutions to get on the front foot and get our drug law in order. What solutions would you implement? Well, I would legalise cannabis, uh, absolutely. I would decriminalise the use and possession of all drugs and put in place legal regulation around them. Depending on the nature of the drug, you have different kinds of regulation. My colleague from Switzerland, who's been visiting uh, New Zealand, a former president of Switzerland, health minister, uh, she brought in safe consumption spaces, uh, prescriptions for heroin. In other words, get it off the streets, out of the criminal market, into a properly regulated environment. States around the world take the responsibility to regulate for all sorts of things that are potentially harmful. We regulate road safety, we regulate tobacco, we regulate alcohol, we regulate guns, we regulate all sorts of things. With drugs, we've had traditionally another approach where we say, let's prohibit. That doesn't work. The war on drugs has failed. We need to look at states taking their responsibilities to regulate.